Sunday morning, new pedals, new attitude, disrupted ride yesterday, got the irrits, eventually had to go home, long story. I'm doing a product review, doing pedals, so I'm going to talk about it real quickly and then after this intro, I'll go through the details of what I'm about to spit out real quickly. So, I don't know, time pedals, I click system, lightweight, totally different design, new cleat, new on new shoes. A couple of things, tension setting, it can be worked out, it's not very well illustrated and not very well explained and I'm not convinced that it's terribly effective. In other words, I wanted uh, a little bit more torque on to get the release, as in I wanted them a bit tighter than what I put them on with. X Pro 12, that's what I got on underneath my feet, or it's what I got my shoes clipped into. With a bit of float. Is it necessary to change? No. Were you happy with the previous pedals? Yes. Do you need to spend $450 on a new set of pedals when you're completely happy with the product you've been using? You can answer that. If I was new to cycling, would I like a new set of pedals that offered a really, really easy system to clip in and out of? Indeed I would, absolutely. Does the Time X Pro 12 offer that? Yes, he says, riding into a quite a strong, surprisingly strong headwind on a Sunday morning. Is the cleat entirely different to what you've been using? Yes. Is the float entirely different to what you've been using? Yes. Are the new pedals lighter? Yes. Are they sexy as hell to look at? Oh yeah, 100%. And they look aero. I thought I'd go somewhere where I could concentrate, sit still and uh, illustrate the things that I'm talking about instead of just ye yelling at the camera, trying, hoping and wishing and wanting that the explanations I'm trying to offer are coming out clearly. So I'm just ducking through to Joseph Banks Park near Botany, let's say. And there's a secret bike path that is up here. Yes. And it will put myself, potentially, I'm lost, completely lost. Let's try that again. Anyway, here I am getting lost. So, amazing bike path of Sydney that no one really knows about. Wow, there's a blackberry bush and some sand, just to sort of throw a little bit of hazard into the equation. Anyway, time pedals is the theme today. I'm trying to talk about it, I'm trying to gather all of my thoughts um, while I manipulate my way around. A very confusing scenario. And I finally found the destination I'm looking for. Oh God, this is such a dyslexic review. I, I've got so many thoughts going through my mind and primarily because I'm reviewing something that I didn't really need to alter on my bike. I've said that about a thousand times, like that's the whole quandary of this review. Do you want to do test these new products from time? They're super cool looking. They're $450, they're pretty expensive, and they're not the top of the line ones, but would you be interested? Hell yeah, that'd be great. Um, are you about to go through a tunnel with some perspective and want to flip the camera around? Yes. been here a few times and I don't think I've ever filmed or presented any of the videos that I've done from here. But perhaps you heard that uh, really, really, really clean, crisp unclicking. And if you ha didn't, here I'll try and demonstrate it. I'm going to put the camera down underneath my foot and I'll do the second foot. I don't know if I got it, so I can do a few of those in slow-mo later on. but. This is what I'm talking about. You're getting that? All right, 
So, a couple of things. Let's try and get this list out of the way so I can get riding and just start enjoying myself again. Number one, light, yes. Attractive, yes. Expensive, kind of. Potentially hugely expensive, yes. On another version, another iteration, I can't remember the name. These are X-Pro 12s from memory. Um, easy to fit, yes. Uh, intuitive to clip into, absolutely. Like, poof, like it just felt, the, the pedal hovers in a way that it allows your the front part of your cleat just to position where it ought to be and blimp, and you're in. And there's no push, it just sort of, it almost greets the cleat and it almost welcomes it in. And I've said it before, I'll say it again, just in case I don't publish that bit, but the thing is, I've used these pedals in my family, but not me personally. I put them on a track bike for my, when my son, my youngest was very young and just starting out on the track on a fixed gear. We tried toe straps, they suck. Everyone knows that, that's why you get clipless pedals, duh. Um, then we tried speed play thinking, maybe, maybe we can really loosen that tension and they'll work. No, I had to go over and push his heel in and clip. But it did work, but it was sort of, he could unclip, but getting in was a hassle. Anyway, ended up with that, the time system and it was really good because really welcoming uh, greeting of the cleat. And for young players, that's a fantastic treat just happens to rhyme, I didn't mean it that way. And so that's what, and then also the very fact that on a fixed gear, little kids with real little frail six-year-old legs can unclip easily. I'll show you again. Um, I'll show you again. <laughs> this is the clip in. See that? I didn't even, it just, just welcomed the, the, the shoe. And then unclipping. It's so bloody easy, it's unreal. Um, I'll try that on my left foot, maybe. Bang. That was it. Like, so bloody, really, 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 really easy. A <sighs> couple of things. I have tensioned it. There is a, it's called a set. Something elasticity tensioner. I don't know what the S is, I can't remember. I read it in the instruction before I came for this ride, but it's too complicated to keep it in my mind. I did set it so that the screw, the, the screwdriver opening is up to the top. And that is, the, of the three tension settings on these pedals, that's the hardest. There's still a huge, or a considerable amount of float. Another thing is the float isn't pivoting at the, at the front like that, it's pivoting in the middle. Ugh. I know what I mean, and, and when you pedal it, you'll understand what I mean. It's really obvious sensation. It is a different kind of float for your foot. I'm not sure if I want that much float. Cleats are different. Cleats are easy to walk in. Cleats are easy to fit. Finally, another thing, um, I changed my saddle height because I felt like I was sitting too low on the first ride with these pedals. <sighs> That's all I can say. It's too complicated. Now I'm just going to let the pictures tell the story, okay? Right, and and so ends my time in Sir Joseph Banks Park and near the Marit well, near that Port Botany arrangement, and now begins my ride. Oh, I've had a bloody terrific week, but then it got real confusing. I just basically overcommitted. I like to ride here because it's got a bit of a view. See. And on a Sunday morning, you get a lot of guys coming down here and Instagramming their cars, or just doing burnouts like that Bogan did. Anyway, oh, far out, it stinks too. Anyway, the beauty of botany.